Hello and welcome. I am Raghav. So today we are going to learn in a very basic, easy step-by-step -step way how we can share a folder between our host machine, that is our primary machine, and our guest machine, that is our virtual machine. And this will be very handy when you do projects because you may want to share some files from your host system or from any system to your virtual machine. So this will be very useful for you. So here we will see how to share folders between the host file, host machine and the virtual machine. And by default, Vagrant file uh, when you have when you create your virtual machine, the folder where you have your Vagrant file will by default be shared to a folder called Vagrant folder on the virtual machine. So let me show you that and then I will show you the steps how you can configure any other folder. So let's say I go to my uh, folder where I have my Vagrant file. So this is my Vagrant file folder. Now I will start my VM. So I'll just first go to my desktop where my project is under projects folder I have the vagrant projects folder although you can run the vagrant commands from anywhere but I just want to be here and if I say ls you can see I have my vagrant file and provision one.sh files here so these are the two files I have here and now let me just check the status of my virtual machine if it is running or not so it is already running I can just say vagrant reload so it will restart and then I will show you the folder which is by default shared between the host machine and the virtual machine or the guest machine alright so also you can see when we uh, do this uh, you will see a message resyncing folder so this folder where you have your vagrant file is already synced by default so let us see that if I go to if I SSH into my virtual machine I will say vagrant SSH and this will take me inside the virtual machine and yes so if I go to a folder called vagrant which will by default be there and if I check the content of this folder you can see these two files which are on my host machine are shown here as well so that means this folder is shared and if I create any other file here so let me exit from my virtual machine and I will I will also clear and I will uh, create one more file in my host machine under this folder where I have my vagrant file as well I have created a file called abc.txt here now if I again go into my virtual machine and check if I go to I am on my virtual machine if I go to the folder vagrant and say ls you can see as of now I still have those two old files but if I now exit and reload reload to restart my virtual machine I should be able to see this file as well so let's wait for this to get restarted All right, so this is now restarted. Let me clear this and I will say vagrant SSH to go inside my virtual machine. And now I will go to the vagrant folder and say ls and you can now see the new file abc.txt is present here. So this is the uh, direct way. You do not have to do anything. Your folder where your project folder on your host machine is by default synced to a folder called vagrant on the virtual machine but just in case you want to change this you want to sync some other folder you can go to your vagrant file and add this uh, statement and it is already there if you have generated your vagrant file by the vagrant init command you will already find this line there which is which is by default commented and you can uncomment it so if I open my vagrant file again in a text editor and here just search for synced folder synced underscore folder and you will see this line it is already there just that it is commented out so I will uncomment this I will remove the hash and I will save this file so you can see this is now my vagrant file and here 
here you can see this folder which is data on my host machine and you can give the complete location or you can give a relative location to your project folder if i say dot forward slash data that means this is present in the same folder of that is my project folder where my vagrant file is so let me actually create this folder here i will create a folder called data and this will be synced to a folder called vagrant underscore data on the virtual machine so save and i will reload my i will exit from my virtual machine and reload it and let's see what happens so this will gracefully shut down the virtual machine and then restart it all right so now it is restarting and you can see it is syncing this folder to this folder on the host machine and it is mounting the shared folders and while mounting there was some issue it is saying vagrant was unable to mount virtual box shared folders uh, because of this file system is not available so this is some issue on my system which is fine because of this it is not able to do it i will troubleshoot this later but now you know the steps how you can sync the folder and if you don't want to do if you don't want to sync a separate folder you can directly use this vagrant folder which is already synced by default so we have already done step two after adding this line we have started our virtual machine we have restarted we can say we, we can first stop the machine by saying vagrant halt and then say vagrant up or we can just say vagrant reload which will restart the machine and then after it is restart it properly successfully then you can go to the virtual machine by saying vagrant ssh and check the synced folder all right so i hope this was very useful you can try some more hands on and let me know if you face any issues i will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning